this latest dispute between uh, American and Expedia, right? Exactly. And, and just, just so you know, if you're looking to book a flight on American Airlines, I wouldn't go to Expedia or Orbit uh, because you're not going to find those flights listed there. Uh, basically, Expedia and Orbit have kicked American Airlines to the curb. Uh, it's really this battle that's been brewing over the past few weeks. It's, it's a battle over fees, Brooke, uh, one that the online travel sites uh, charge airlines. So they're at, they're at odds as to how many fees they should be charged. Uh, and, and as for consumers, it really makes it harder to find the best deal because what's going to essentially happen is you're going to have to go to each individual airline site to find the fare like we did in the old days. Um, but keep in mind, you can still find American Airlines fares on other sites like Kayak.com and Priceline. Brooke? Allison, isn't the fight bigger than just American and Expedia? It really is because, you know, if you think of the online travel industry as a whole, well, it's pitting them against the airlines. But, you know, it's turning into kind of a game of chicken, and we're going to see who the last one standing is going to be because, you know, the airlines need these sites almost as much as the sites need the airlines. And who's going to lose in the end? It's going to be the consumer because we're going to have to do more work finding the best rates, and we're not necessarily going to find the best rates uh, because we don't have this one aggregate site, but the airlines are really pushing this pushing this along because they really also want to have more control over these fares. They also want to have the ability to charge extra fees uh, like for legroom and priority boarding and you know charging to bring your pets on and these extra fees are not necessarily available on these other websites like Orbitz mm. and Expedia and that's why this battle is really brewing, Brooke. Allison Kostick at the New York Stock Exchange. Allison, thank you.